Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to go over the new ban list for Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, which is coming to the Switch. So we have the ban list for Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, which is a new game. I'm not sure if we will also be getting this as an update to any previous owner of Legacy of the Duelist, but I will update you guys on that if the list is somehow related to it. I'm not even sure if you can cross-platform with the uh, other players, like on PC, uh, if they eventually make this on PC. But uh, anyways, it's a really long ban list, and uh, obviously it's already uh, been released in the OCG um, before we get it here. Uh, again, this is coming out in the summer for us, so we won't be getting this for a while. But we do happen to have the entire ban list, which is awesome. This is posted over on the official Konami website for, of course, the new game. But this is a really long ban list, so sit tight. There are a lot of really strange changes. Basically, they've taken OCG and TCG lists, and then also kind of used the new ban list, which we just got on the TCG. It's wild. A lot of the cards are the same, but there are a bunch of differences here as well. So first off, this is only for use in multiplayer mode, but uh, they didn't say blend the TCG. Dude, the, the list is absolutely crazy. But anyways, first off, the forbidden cards. Like I said, a lot of them are the same, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just go over that real quick because we'll just blast through the list. So first off, cards that are banned, Raigeki, Cyberstein, Cannon Soldier, Harpy's Feather Duster, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, Ultimate Offering, Change of Heart, Last Will, Heavy Storm, Snatch Steel, Confiscation, Delinquent Duo, Forceful Sentry, Giant Turnade, Painful Trace, Cyber Jar, Premature Burial, Morphing Jar number two, Time Seal, the Card of Safe Return, Cold Wave, Amazonus Archer, Mercuria the Executioner, which is actually called the Destructor in the TCG, but this is a translation thing. Anyways, that Super Ruju Dragon card, uh, Fiber Draw, Yadagarasu, Royal Prussian, Last Turn, Mirage of Nightmare, Trap Dust Shoot, Tomb Cannon Soldier, Metamorphosis, Kaiser Coliseum, Magic, uh, Magical Scientist, Tribe Infecting Virus, uh, Mass Driver, Butterfly Dagger, Elma, Chaos Emperor, Dragon, Envoy of the End, uh, Dimension Fusion, Self Destruct Button, Sixth Sense, Return from the Different Dimension, Magical Explosion, Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, uh, Pot of Avarice, Dandelion, Life Equalizer, Samsara, Lotus, Cannon Soldier, MK 2, uh, Substitute, Mind Master, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Phoenix Cluster, Amarless, uh, Fishborg, Blaster, Level Eater, Jin. Uh, this is actually something that in the OCG they have multiple of, but again, this is the new list. Um, the Tyrant Neptune, Gloat Bulb. Um, Vandy's Emptiness, Max C, Wind Up Hunter, Lavalval Chain, Diagustor Emerald, uh, Shock Master, Invoker, Wind Up Carries and Matey, Redox, Tidal, Blaster, Tempest, so all the Dragon Rulers, Spellcut Jumper, Rank Up Magic, uh, Argent Chaos Force, then we have Steam the Cloak, Elder Entity, Norden, Construct, Shrit, Number 95, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Metal. Matter Dragon. Again, this is like a new change because we had this in the TCG, but oh, whatever, that's the list. Uh, Tomias, uh, Chicken Game, and we have Skull Crabat Joker, uh, Plush Fire, uh, Perform Mage, uh, the Magic Spectre Unicorn, Monkey Board, Gofu, Denlong, True King, Litho, the Disaster, Broad Bull, Dryden, Barrage, all the Zodiac cards, uh, the Grass Looks Greener, Astrograph Sorcerer, Double Iris Magician, Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King, Dragonic Diagram, Supreme King, Dragon, Starving Venom, Firewall, Dragon, the new Summon Sorceress, and of course Nightmare Goblin. So these cards are all banned, which is, again, they've taken a completely different list. Uh, I don't really feel like we really need to hit Construct, uh, but more importantly, I was really hoping that they would at least make Ritual Beast more viable here, because, uh, I mean, technically it's a new format, essentially, here, um, but limited cards, we have uh, Right Arm of Exodia, Left Arm, Right Leg, Left Leg, Exodia the Forbidden One, Dark Hole, Morphing Jar, Card Destruction, Monster Reborn, Solemn Judgment, Upstart, Imperial Order, Limited Removal, which is at 3, so that's an, a different change. We have Foolish Burial, Reinforcement of the Army, Book of Moon, Reasoning, Terraforming, World Tribute, Skill Drain, um, Final Countdown, Primal Seat is <laughs> actually hit over here. Uh, and then we have Monster Gate, Wall of Revealing Light, Night Assailants, Necro Face, which is unfortunate, because they're making new Necro Face support. Uh, as one of like the character decks, but they're hitting it, which is, I know it's like kind of opposite of what they should be doing. Uh, Gold Star, Symbol of Heritage, Macrocosmos, D-Fisher, Stratos, Baby Sarasaurus, uh, Chain Strike, Eradicator, Epidemic, Virus, again, something different. Hero Lives, Grinder Golem, Dark Armed Dragon, Armageddon Knight, Super Poly, Reddish Darkness, Metal Dragon, Lone Fire, Emergency Teleport, Deloren, Deep Sea, Diva, One for One, Infernity, Archfiend, Rekindling, Gateway of the Six, uh, Genex Ally, Birdman. Again, this is uh, something other something that's different. Then we have Trishla, Launcher, Warning, Barrier, Evagishi, Mine August, Blaze Phoenix, the Burning Bombardment Bird, Mass Change, Second, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, Librarian, Ghost Kraken, Tour Guide, One Day of Peace, Hornet, and Dragonfly from the Insectors. Then we have Gem, Knight, Master, Diamond, Soul Drain, Exton, Knight, Soul Charge, Mathematician, Monarch, Stormforth, 
El Tahiro Shadow Mist is at one, which is unfortunate. Um, then we have Graf, Seer, and uh, Clifford Scout, uh, Necroz of Bryo, and Unicorn. Ulticanok, unfortunately, guys, is still at one. Necroz Cycle, Performage Damage Juggler, uh, Lustre Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, Ignis Through Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer, Pendulum Call, Terra Top, Omega, Ether, the Heavenly Monarch, Pantheism of the Monarchs, Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, Draco Face Off, Uninterrupted Kaiju Slumber, ABC Dragon, Buster, totally awesome, which I'm actually 100% fine with this. Then we have Spiral Quick Fix, Gear, Drone, and then Zodiac Rapier. Messalina Saurus, again, that, I mean, we just got that new list with all the Dinos, and then you still hit some of the other stuff, which we'll get into. Uh, then we have Spiral Resort, Invoke, Macabre, Harmonizing, Magician, Chronograph, Sorcerer, Predaplan, Orphus, Scorpio, Supreme, King, Dragon, Dark Worm, Dynamite, uh, Knight, the True Draco Fighter, Set Rotation, King's Return, Soul Eating, Obby Raptor, Trickstar, Reincarnation, Altergeist, Multi Faker, Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite, uh, Sky Striker Ace, Kagari, uh, Sky Striker Mech, Hornet Drones. So, dinosaurs are not looking too hot on, of course, that new Yu Gi Oh! Game Link Evolution, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for the limited. Now, hopping into the semi limited cards, we have Scapegoat, Ceasefire, Destiny Hero Malicious, Fossil Dig, Wind Up Magician, Solemn Shrike. Furry Tail Snow Union Hanger. So this is like a huge buff uh, for anyone that did like playing that. And then Ash Blossom also got hit uh, on here. Trickster right? Candina also here. Spellbook of Knowledge, Personal Spoofing, Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage, and Widow Anchor. But yeah, that is it for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game list. Again, we don't get it till the summer. Uh, so this is going to be obviously a update. For anyone that is going to be playing Legacy on Duelist, let me know, guys, what you think of the list. Do you guys like it? What would you have changed? I think they should have, like, we still have, Con Construct is still banned in this list, which I think is just really unfortunate. Like, the, the ban list is literally the longest ban list I think I've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, there's just so many cards. I mean, they hit some sorcerers, but they didn't update it for the new dinosaurs, which, I don't know, it's kind of backwards. It's, like, halfway using the new ban list. Crazy stuff, but, you know, we really need Kana Hawkin at least, too, man. Uh, but anyways, like I said, let me know your thoughts on this list, and I will be uploading gameplay of Legacy of Duelist Link Evolution. I will be getting the Japanese version very soon, because it does come out earlier uh, in OCG, so if you guys want to see that, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. I'll be going over, like, the character decks, because those are more fun anyways. But yeah, Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution it will be coming out uh, in the summer, the Switch, but I'll be uploading content in the Japanese version earlier. Uh, I don't even think the Switch is region locked, but... Crazy list, especially with like limiter removal, there's a lot of stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit subscribe if you want to see gameplay of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game, of course, with the new ban list. There is opportunities for more things to be more viable, with of course, Fairy Snow still here. Um, pretty interesting. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, peace out.